Welcome to the channel. It's been a few days, but I will catch you up. I don't know what kind of video this is going to be, but I got to do one. Where are you going to put in a MIA thing for me? I don't know. Haven't done much, guys. I got some metal up. Kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. I still got to put metal up there and then one final piece there. Uh, but it's coming along and the weather today is going to be probably bad. But I've got some other business. Excuse me if it gets dark. It is dark. I don't have any lights, microphones, anything hooked up. Uh, i got to go to town and get Waldo. Let's go on in and here. Come on, boy. Let me get the light on. We got to get Mr. Waldo some medicine because he's got that problem again on his paw. Little hot spot there he's been licking on. So I'm going to get him some anti inflammatories and probably antibiotics. Hopefully, I won't have to take him to the vet because taking him to the vet is an issue. That is the exact same problem he had last time in November. No, I don't like it, boy. And uh, so I should be able to just go in there and get him a refill of his medication, huh, Lily? You have never, except when you was a baby, you've never had any issues, have you? I've never had to take you to the doctor, but if you had some problems, you know what? We would. But you're too soft. You're too soft to go to the doctor. Feel your fur is too soft. That means you don't ever have to go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, it's not really... It, it, it's gotten worse in the last few days, so I should have went a few days ago. I do got his old uh, prescription. There's one left in there. I'm going to probably wait, and then I'll give it to him, see if she wants to give him something else. But taking that boy to the vet, not fun. He has only been three times, but they've had to muzzle him every time. He'll start growling. He has never bit anybody or acted like he would want to, but when he goes to the vet, he, he don't like it. So I'm going to see if we can't just get him. I'll pay for a whole doctor visit just to get him the medication because I know that's the exact same problem he had before. And if you had seen on my other channel, I had a big rock smash my windshield right there in front of my face. Busted glass all over my face. Come off a rock truck that didn't have his tarp up. So yesterday, I had to go get a brand new windshield. So, And it was getting close to where I had to wash this on the inside. So now I don't have to wash it anymore because it's clean. So we got that taken care of. Uh, we're going to take her out today. Let's go see what Mr. Waddles. I hear he's up. Yeah. Look at the weather here. It's cloudy. Supposed to get bad storms over the weekend. What's up, Mr. Waddles? Yeah, I got I got scratch in your water. You got anything to say to the people today? He doesn't know. You know, we can get him some more scratch. Here, let's find you guys some nice grass. Yeah, I don't think you want all the dirt. And he might. Waldo eats dirt. Well, get in there for goodness. There he goes. Let me see if we can get you some clover. Wow. Is this grown up quick? I mean quick. Let's go see if we got any wildflowers. I've seen several different kinds in the last few days. Well, you got these little purple things. Get what you call them. Somebody will know. And I've seen some little orange ones I've never seen before. I don't know where I've seen them. Go we'll see if we can't find them. I can't believe I don't have two other puppy dogs out here right now. I uh, don't know. This is we've got a lot of wildflowers going back there. white daisy things look down I don't know if chickens will eat them 
Some old dandelions they like. Oh, he's saying he can't eat them. Well, let's go. Let's go see. Chickens aren't stupid, and if there's something they that's bad for them, they won't eat it. Pretty much the same with dogs. And I don't see any different kinds. I know there's some orange ones, or I don't know. Those are those are dead there. I let them grow for a while, let the bees get their fill. Oh, and then I'm going to show you my new grass that's coming up. Waddles, you said you could eat these. Well, let's see. Here you go. Don't think he don't know. <laughs> And then check it out. It's always so picky. Yeah, looks like we got some grass coming up. It's coming up all over. That's the last of the peppers I planted over here. If they grow, they grow. I don't know. But we've got grass coming up. And here they are. Right by the carport. The only place I see these things. It's almost 7.30 in the morning. What are you girls doing still in bed? Huh? Nah, we gotta flop the ears around. That's how you know you're awake. Well, that's a bit extreme, Nelly. That's a bit extreme. Are you full of it this morning? Come on, let's go to the play area. Come on. Look here. Let's get all your wildness out of your system. <gasps> Where'd that go? <laughs> Goofy girl. Oh, I got a big bird. I got Big Bird. Better get Big Bird, Melly. This is the play deck. Yeah, you ain't kidding me. Where did your toy go, Melly? Or Telly? Look at this goofball. Where's your toy? Oh, sister found it. There you go. You can't pat one head, not pat the other. Usually I have two hands to do this, but uh, holding the camera, can't do it. I'm going to get you guys your next guards this morning. That waddle sure makes some noise, don't he, Millie? You and your stretching. Gonna, she's gonna go nuts here in a minute. Yeah, that's quite the yawn. You guys slept all night. I don't sleep all night. You over here by the flowers, Nelly. I don't know if these people like watching you guys. You're some characters, though. How many times do you need to stretch in the morning, you? You're still a little jumpy, ain't you? What you got on your nose? Nothing. Yes, may I help you? Jump on her and do a triple tsunami. Yeah, you can do it. 
Yeah, no. You gotta instigate them. See, there comes Millie. Yeah, here she comes. Do a triple tsunami on her. Or a triple Wendy. Mm. Hopefully you're not allergic to flowers. Break out in puppy hives. Here comes the storm. That look you give me. You need your nails cut. Yeah, you do. You need to do do, do some digging. You don't have to ever get them cut. Yeah, but you don't. I've never seen you do no digging. That one digs. Dog TV? Poor big bird. Here she comes. You better get it away from Millie. She's carrying big bird off. Follow her. Well, you know what? This can't be dog TV without the rooster. Now, rooster's faking being sick. I know her act. So I'm going to go in and set her straight. Okay? You guys stay under the carport if it rains. Well, guess what? I got to go to the doctor's office and get Waldo medicine. And since you won't go out and go potty, I, think, I guess you're going to have to go to the doctor because you say you're sick. Oh, you're not sick anymore? You need to go outside? Come on. Let's go outside. We go outside for our bacon. You ain't sick. What about a uh, what about a burger? A hot dog? A chicken strip? Cheese? Come on, let's go outside. You gotta have a variety of treats. Look at this one. Which one do you want? Oh, the first one you came to. All right, that would have been Waldo's. And of course, you don't want these two getting cheated. There's, you get a bacon treat with cheese in it. Yeah, they haven't had those in a long time, the bacons with cheese. Well, you guys already had your milk bones, but I got extra treats. You get a chicken strip, and you get a sausage. Lazy boy. You shouldn't eat a sausage upside down. Yeah, you're goofy. All right. Well, I got some things on the wall. Mostly it was stuff that was already in here. 
that I put out on the patio, and then I brought it back in, you know. I'm your huckleberry. Yeah, and there's me and Lucy. In dog bears, I've only had one. Caution, dog can't hold its liquor. Various other things. Because I can't stand a bare wall. And that wall is going to be two shelves. I'll, I didn't want to put shelves here because it's tight quarters in here. I would be knocking my head on them. I guarantee it. So I think right there is a perfect spot. Maybe three shelves. One, two, three. Don't know what I'll put on it. And this wall is pretty much taken up with the monitor. And, you know. Hey, this picture of Lucy, that's how you fix a... That's how you fix a hole that was cut too big. I'm a genius, man. Oh, that's how you fix that. Hey, man. That ain't perfect. That's a fix. A fix is a fix, no matter how you fix it, right? All right, I was able to get Waldo some medications for his issue. You know, it helps and you know a vet well and they trust that you know what you're doing with dogs. Save me a doctor visit. Save me having to get him loaded up. So, it's one advantage to living in a small town. You know, pretty good thing. Alright, we're going through downtown. Let's see if we can see if we can spot a crackhead. Ooh, that windshield's clean, isn't it? Oh, somebody got hurt at the... Eh, they're probably servicing it. The ambulance there. Nope, no crackheads are out. Where the heck am I going? Oh, I need water. I gotta go to the grocery store. And food. Porta potties if anybody's gotta go. Trying to sell me car insurance. I don't need it, man. This is a house somebody bought for sixty thousand. Fixed it up, man. It looks nice. That's an older house. Put a new roof, painted it, all kinds of goodies. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, this uh, spam call that's been calling me. They tell me. They've received a complaint in their office to please get back with them. I'm gonna do that. Not. Nah. I ain't seeing no crackheads. Maybe I don't know where they're at today. We got them. Usually they're riding a kid's bicycle. I don't know. You can tell I'm bored today, guys. for a ride. Of course, you got to start the day off with a Sonic Supersonic Burrito. Mm, look at that. And do you know why this one's in here? Because I got to give Waldo his medicine and then these are out. And this one ain't going to go away. Ah... Uh, you're just getting a little one. And then you're going away. Alright, let me show you how I do these. Alright, hopefully the shadow ain't in the way. Uh, what he's got here is a vet profen, which is basically an ibuprofen for dogs. Helps them with pain and the inflammation. And he gets one of these every 24 hours. But they're horse pills, man. Oh my goodness. So, we're going to do a little surgery. Now, I heat these up in the microwave for about... 12 seconds because if you give a dog an ice cold hot dog they're going to hesitate a little bit so we're going to cut this one in half because he's going to know that big old horse pill's there ah, and I'm going to dig me a little hole in there you're going to put it right in the beginning just below because and then you're going to hand him this part first I shouldn't have cut that in half Gonna hand them that part first because that'll go towards the back of his throat. And generally, they'll just chew it a little bit and swallow it. Not doing well on this one. And if I was feeding them, I'd take a little gravy from the food and put it in there. That should stay in there. Now dig a little hole in that one. If he suspects it's in there, he's gonna be real careful on it. 
If you shove this all the way to the end or in the middle, he may find it. So let's see how good I did. We're just going to put it right there. And of course, you know, Lily has to have one. Because you can't give one dog one without the other knowing. Okay. And that's the best we're going to do. I'm going to take a piece of cheese. Oh, you know that word too, don't you? Hold on, rooster. Because all dogs like cheese. Especially the rooster. Just to disguise it. Look at that. What dog would not like that packed with cheese? Things you gotta do for dogs, man. Oh, you. Rooster. Just a mere mention. Oh, geez, now what am I supposed to put it on? I'm gonna put it on your bowl. Get your dry food. That's way too much for you. Alright, let's take this in there and see if he'll take the bait. Alright, here he is. Now, if you work them up a little bit, get them worked up, though. You want your hot dog, Lily? You want hot dogs? Take it. No problem with that one. You want another one? There you go. And Lily gets hers. You watched my fingers. We got your medicine, boy, so your paw will feel better. Yeah. That's going to help you with pain, which I don't think he has a lot of. He's walking normal. Those things are like called hot spots. They get them in between their toes. And Lily, but you don't have one. You already had your hot dog. He didn't get two. His was just cut in half. You didn't get cheated. So he ate everything. And that's how I deal with the Waldo, man. Man, I think I made a short of this, but I haven't had it in a video. I just took the leftover pieces from the rusty old fridge yeah and applied it to this now there wasn't enough to go down here and all this so I think it looks good just cut off the way it is I took a straight edge and cut it off straight right there kind of nicked it up a little bit in places this I really don't like but uh, I think if I could do it over I would probably take these off I think they just pop out and then put that piece there now I may I just saw this stuck to here but I don't think well yeah that wouldn't work we'll just live with it it ain't that bad and I still got to get a new razor blade and, and finish trimming these up but hey man it looks better than a white just a plain white one but as you can see now with this new additional countertop i got a place for my toaster oven uh, along with this and you guys are going to see i need to wipe this thing down you're going to see what i do to this uh it's not going to look like that but it's still going to i'm not going to cut a hole in the top you'll see what i do it's going to look pretty cool hopefully i can get out there today and get get to at least get this metal finished and uh get some wood cedar on it don't know yet cabinet that's not going to take much down here i've got to put the faces on that put the drawers in got to build a couple more drawers for here we'll be looking into that so all right man just a little dog tv video for you guys a little update hopefully i'll have more to share later uh just getting one up there so y'all know i'm still kicking things are good here life is good happy trip.